In 2025, Sony is set to revolutionize filmmaking with its upcoming cinema cameras, sparking excitement among both professionals and enthusiasts. Known for its cutting-edge technology, Sony is rumored to release several new models that promise to push creative boundaries in the industry. These cameras are expected to introduce advanced features and improvements that could redefine cinema production. In today's video, we'll dive into the anticipated Sony releases and explore how they might shape the future of filmmaking. So without further ado, let's get started. Sony continues to push the boundaries of innovation in the camera industry with the highly anticipated release of the FX30 Mark II, set to hit the market in Q for 2025. This new iteration builds upon the success of its predecessor by incorporating groundbreaking AI technology to enhance its performance. Filmmakers seeking a versatile, high-quality camera that doesn't break the bank may find the FX30 Mark II to be their perfect match. Designed with the modern filmmaker in mind, the Sony FX30 Mark II features a compact and lightweight form factor, making it ideal for run-and-gun shooting without the need for a cage. Its robust build boasts a sleek, professional finish, while the intuitive layout of buttons and dials ensures that essential functions are easily accessible, allowing you to focus on capturing the perfect shot. At the heart of the FX30 Mark II is its 26.1 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor, which promises exceptional image quality and detail. This sensor is paired with Sony's advanced Beyond XR processor and a new AI processing unit. The AI unit introduces sophisticated features such as real-time tracking autofocus, which uses machine learning to detect and follow subjects with remarkable accuracy. The system is capable of recognizing and tracking not just faces and eyes, but also specific objects and animals, making it versatile for various filming situations. Stability is paramount in filmmaking, and the FX30 Mark II delivers with its 8-stop, 5-axis pixel-level image stabilization system, ensuring smooth, shake-free footage even in challenging shooting conditions. This technology works in conjunction with Sony's Active Mode Digital Stabilization, creating a synergistic effect that can produce gimbal-like smoothness in many shooting scenarios. For professionals who demand high dynamic range and color fidelity, the FX30 Mark II offers 10-bit for 2 2 XAVC SI recording and 16-bit RAW output. Combined with Sony's S, Log3 and HLG profiles, the camera provides over 14 stops of dynamic range, enabling breathtakingly detailed and color-accurate footage. The camera also introduces a new AI-assisted color science that can analyze scenes in real-time and optimize color rendition for more natural and pleasing results straight out of camera. The dual base ISO of 100 to 32,000 ensures the camera performs exceptionally well in low-light conditions, while the dual CFX Breast Type A and SDXC card slots offer versatile and high-speed storage solutions. The FX30 Mark II also supports user LUTs and timecode sync, allowing for seamless integration into professional workflows. Video capabilities of the FX30 Mark II are nothing short of impressive. It supports UHD 4K recording at up to 120 frames per second, opening up a world of creative possibilities for slow-motion footage and high-resolution capture. For those requiring even more data, the camera offers 16-bit RAW output via its full-size HDMI port, providing maximum flexibility for high-end productions. Audio capture hasn't been overlooked, with the FX30 Mark II featuring both 3.5mm and XLR inputs via the supplied handle. The camera supports for channel 24-bit audio recording, ensuring high-quality sound to match the stunning visuals. An improved internal microphone system provides better audio quality for run-and-gun situations where external mics aren't practical. Battery life is crucial for any filmmaker, and the FX30 Mark II doesn't disappoint. Sony has optimized power consumption, allowing for extended shooting sessions without frequent battery swaps. Depending on usage, you can expect up to three hours of continuous operation, ensuring you won't miss any critical moments during your shoots. The camera is compatible with Sony's NP or FZ100 batteries, which are widely used across their mirrorless camera line, making it easy for existing Sony users to integrate the FX30 Mark II into their kit. One of the most exciting rumored features is the Thlai Director Mode. This innovative function leverages the camera's advanced processing capabilities to assist in shot composition and storytelling. 
by analyzing the scene in real time, it can suggest optimal camera movements, framing, and even potential edits based on cinematic rules and common visual storytelling techniques. While not intended to replace creative decision-making, this AI-driven assistant could be invaluable for newer filmmakers or in fast-paced shooting environments. The integration of augmented reality AR, features is another potential game-changer. The FX30 Mark II might allow for the overlay of virtual elements onto the live view, assisting with composition, providing visual guides for complex shots, or even enabling real-time pre-visualization of CGI elements. Such a feature would bridge the gap between production and post-production, potentially streamlining the filmmaking process for VFX-heavy projects. In response to the growing demand for vertical video content, the FX30 Mark II is rumored to include a dedicated vertical shooting mode. This would optimize the camera settings and interface for portrait orientation, catering to content creators producing for platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. The potential inclusion of a high-resolution OLED EVF electronic viewfinder would be a welcome addition for shooting in bright outdoor conditions and for operators who prefer eye-level composition. This would address one of the few criticisms of the original FX30, which lacked a built-in EVF. Connectivity is another area where the FX30 Mark II is likely to see enhancements. In addition to the standard ports, there's potential for the inclusion of wireless capabilities like built-in Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. This could enable faster wireless tethering, remote control via smartphone apps, and easier file transfer to mobile devices for quick editing and sharing. Sony might also introduce a cloud-based editing and collaboration platform specifically designed to work with footage from the FX30 Mark II. This could allow for seamless uploading of proxy files during shooting, enabling remote team members to begin editing or reviewing footage in near real-time. The FX30 Mark II is also expected to have enhanced durability features. This could include a self-cleaning sensor mechanism to reduce maintenance needs, and potentially even a modular design allowing for easier repairs and upgrades, addressing the growing right-to-repair movement in the tech industry. With the growing emphasis on sustainability in the tech industry, there are rumors that Sony has made significant efforts to reduce the environmental impact of the FX30 Mark II. This could include the use of recycled materials in the body construction, more energy-efficient components, and a comprehensive recycling program for end-of-life units. Scheduled for release in Q for 2025, anticipation for the FX30 Mark II is already high given its impressive feature set and advancements over its predecessor. While exact pricing hasn't been confirmed yet, Sony has hinted that it will remain affordable, continuing its tradition of delivering high-quality cinema cameras at accessible prices. Industry insiders speculate that Sony will position the FX30 Mark II competitively, likely in the $2,000 to $2,500 range. The Sony FX30 Mark II promises to be a versatile and powerful tool for filmmakers looking to push their creative boundaries. With its blend of advanced AI technology, robust design, and professional-grade specifications, it stands out as a compelling choice in the crowded market of cinema cameras. Keep an eye out for its release in late 2025, it might just be the camera that elevates your filmmaking to the next level. The fundamental difference between global and rolling shutter sensors lies in how they capture light. Global shutters expose all pixels simultaneously, enabling unprecedented readout speeds that are ideal for freezing fast motion and action shots. This capability perfectly caters to the needs of sports, wildlife, and photojournalist professionals who need to capture split-second moments. However, this parallel exposure process is inherently less efficient at gathering light, potentially compromising dynamic range, color accuracy, and low-light performance areas where Sony's current alpha cameras have been industry-leading and shining beacons that professionals rely upon. Cramming a massively high 50MP resolution along with 120fps plus burst speeds into a global shutter format seems to stretch the boundaries of what's physically achievable without serious image quality degradation. Some imaging experts argue that while global shutter technology has advanced significantly in recent years, it still can't match the overall technical image quality delivered by the latest top-tier rolling shutters found in Sony's current Alpha 1 flagship camera. Unless Sony pulls off an engineering miracle, NEA 1 Mark II incorporating global shutter tech may represent a decisive step backward in sensor performance from its pioneering predecessor despite the speed gains. 
Another salient concern is whether such ultra-fast burst capabilities genuinely align with the diverse needs of Sony's professional alpha user base. The recently launched A93 is a hyper-focused camera solely optimized for speed above all else with its 24MP global shutter sensor. But the Alpha 1 series has traditionally embodied a more versatile, balanced approach as an uncompromising all-rounder that can handle any demanding photo-video application with aplomb. Many working professionals prize this flexible utilitarian design philosophy, relying on the Alpha 1 to be a dependable imaging solution no matter the scenario. While impressive on paper, game-changing speed may not be the top priority especially if it comes at the cost of reduced overall image quality, dynamic range, color rendition, or ISO performance compared to the original Alpha 1. A few experts argue Sony would be better served by an evolutionary update refining and improving upon that well-rounded flagship experience rather than completely re-architecting the system solely to chase a single headline performance metric like burst speed. Meaningful enhancements to areas like autofocus tracking, build quality, video capabilities and user experience could provide more universal benefits to a broader range of professionals across different imaging disciplines. That said, the march of technological progress remains unstoppable. Perhaps Sony does have a revolutionary sensor breakthrough brewing that can somehow defy current limitations to deliver both supreme speed and supreme image quality in one package. Or the A1 Mark II could potentially incorporate a hybrid sensor system capable of switching between ultra-fast global shutters optimized for speed, or prioritizing rolling shutter output when maximum resolution and utmost image fidelity take precedence depending on the shooting scenario. However, the realities of sensor design impose hard physics-based constraints, exponentially increasing resolution and readout speeds while simultaneously maintaining the highest possible image quality is an incredibly difficult balancing act. It may simply be impractical to distill every single advanced enhancement into one flagship product without making critical compromises in other areas. A more plausible scenario could see Sony continuing to diversify their product lines, with ultra-specialized tools like global shutter speed demons complementing their top all-around models optimized for versatile overall performance. At the heart of the A7R6 rumored specifications is a sensor that pushes the boundaries of resolution. Credible sources suggest that Sony is developing a triple-digit megapixel sensor, potentially reaching an astounding 100 megapixels. This level of resolution would be a significant leap forward, even compared to the already impressive 61 megapixels of the current A7R5. Such a high-resolution sensor would enable photographers to capture unprecedented detail in landscapes, product shots, and architectural photography. The resulting images could rival or even surpass the quality of medium-format digital cameras, bringing medium-format-like capabilities to a more compact and versatile full-frame mirrorless body. The real game-changer, however, might not just be the high pixel count, but the potential adoption of stacked CMOS sensor technology. This innovative design moves circuitry away from the pixel array and into a separate base layer, allowing for incredibly fast data readout speeds. The implications of this technology are profound and could revolutionize several aspects of the camera's performance. The A7R6 might be capable of continuous shooting speeds exceeding 20 frames per second at full resolution, a remarkable feat for such a high megapixel camera. The fast readout speeds could virtually eliminate rolling shutter artifacts in video and electronic shutter stills, addressing a common issue in many current mirrorless cameras. Sony has long been at the forefront of autofocus technology, and the A7R6 is expected to push these boundaries even further. Rumors suggest an even denser autofocus point array, potentially covering nearly the entire sensor area. This expanded coverage would allow for precise focusing even on subjects at the edges of the frame. Moreover, enhanced subject recognition and tracking capabilities are anticipated. Building upon Sony's already impressive real-time tracking and IAF technologies, the A7R6 might introduce more sophisticated algorithms for identifying and following subjects. This could include improved recognition of animals, vehicles, and other specific subjects, making it easier for photographers to maintain focus on their intended targets, even in challenging and dynamic shooting scenarios. For videographers, the A7R6 could represent a significant leap forward. The combination of high resolution and fast data processing could enable uncropped 8K video capture, positioning the A7R6 as a formidable tool for professional videographers. 
the potential for 8K video recording, combined with the fast readout speeds of the stacked sensor, could make this camera the ultimate video capture platform. The elimination of rolling shutter artifacts would be a game-changer for handheld and motion-heavy shots. Beyond resolution, the A7R6 is expected to offer a robust array of professional-grade video features. These may include 10-bit 4,2,2 color sampling for greater color depth and flexibility in post-production, various log profiles for maximizing dynamic range, an oversampled 4K recording from the full 8K sensor area, resulting in exceptionally sharp and detailed 4K footage. These features, combined with Sony's color science and image processing advancements, could position the A7R6 as a top choice for hybrid shooters who require both high-resolution stills and professional-quality video capabilities. While the internal specifications are certainly exciting, Sony is also rumored to be addressing some of the physical aspects of the camera to enhance usability and reliability. These improvements may include dual CFX Press Type-B card slots, providing faster write speeds and greater storage capacity crucial for handling the large files generated by the high-resolution sensor and 8K video. Enhanced weather sealing is expected, improving protection against the elements and making the A7R6 more robust for outdoor and challenging shooting environments. Refined ergonomics may also be on the cards, with Sony potentially introducing subtle changes to button placement and grip design for improved handling based on feedback from previous models. The A7R6 is rumored to feature upgraded in-body image stabilization IBIS, potentially offering up to 8 stops of shake reduction. This significant improvement would benefit both still photography and video work, especially when shooting handheld. To support the power-hungry high-resolution sensor and advanced features, Sony is expected to include a higher-capacity battery for extended shooting times. Alongside the A7R6, Sony is rumored to be introducing a new Super Telephoto Prime lens to complement the camera's capabilities. The FE 500mm f2.8 GM OSS lens would be a welcome addition to Sony's G Master lineup, offering professional photographers a fast, high-quality option for wildlife, sports, and events photography. Furthermore, dedicated 1.6x teleconverter is said to be in development, which would effectively turn the 500mm f2.8 into an 800mm f4.5 lens. This combination of reach and speed, paired with the A7R6 high-resolution sensor, could create an unparalleled tool for capturing distant subjects with exceptional detail. The timing of this lens release could be strategic, potentially positioning the A7R6 and the new 500mm lens as the ultimate setup for photographing the 2024 Olympic Games. As with most pre-release rumors, concrete information about pricing and availability for the A7R6 remains elusive. However, industry experts speculate that we could see this imaging powerhouse materialize as early as late 2024 or early 2025. Given Sony's pricing strategy for flagship models and the advanced features rumored for the A7R6, it's reasonable to expect that this camera will command a premium price, reflecting its status as Sony's resolution king and technological showcase. While the rumored specifications for the A7R6 are undoubtedly impressive, Sony will need to address some criticisms of previous models to make this camera truly revolutionary. The limited buffer for burst raw shooting has been a point of contention for action photographers using high-resolution Sony cameras. Improving this aspect would be crucial for the A7R6 to excel in fast-paced shooting scenarios. Eliminating or minimizing crop factors for 4K video modes would be a significant improvement, allowing videographers to make full use of their wide-angle lenses. Battery life is another area where further improvements would be welcome, especially considering the power requirements of the high-resolution sensor and advanced features. Effective heat management will be crucial for maintaining performance during extended high-resolution video recording sessions. If Sony can successfully address these issues while implementing the rumored improvements, the A7R6 could indeed become a new benchmark in the camera industry. The potential features of the Sony A7R6 paint a picture of a truly revolutionary camera. If even half of these rumored specifications come to fruition, Sony will have created a remarkably versatile imaging tool capable of blending extreme resolution with elite speed, video prowess, and optical excellence in a way that no other camera has done before. The A7R6 could represent Sony's triumphant return to the top of the mirrorless camera market, reaffirming its status as an innovative force in the imaging industry.
For professional photographers and videographers, this camera might offer an unparalleled combination of features that cater to a wide range of shooting scenarios, from studio work to wildlife photography, and from landscape imaging to professional videography. As we await official announcements from Sony, the anticipation continues to build. The A7R6 has the potential to not only set new standards for what's possible in a mirrorless camera but also to inspire the next wave of photographic and videographic creativity. That wraps up our look at Sony's upcoming cinema camera lineup for 2025. Which camera caught your eye? Let me know in the comments below.